everyone, it's Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. Welcome to this Thursday video for November 9th, 2023. This is Vanth, and you're probably wondering, well, why do you have a royal python with you for the introduction to this video? This was not planned. The reason that he's with me for the introduction of this video is because I had to remove him from his enclosure due to a dead mouse in there that he apparently didn't eat the other night after I fed him. Isn't that ever so special? Yeah, I went into his room earlier and I thought I smelled something and then a few hours went by and I went in there just now and I definitely smelled something. So I started opening enclosures and as soon as I opened his, it was pretty obvious that there was something in there that shouldn't be. I don't know why Python Regis do this periodically, but they'll take their food They'll snatch it. They'll even look like they're starting to eat it. They'll take it into a hide. Maybe they'll take it behind or in their water dish. And then you realize later that they didn't eat it. And I'm usually very, very good about either watching the meat or checking that they ate everything, you know, right after they seem to be finished or at least within a few hours. But he's been a really consistent feeder. I haven't had any issues with him doing this before, so, the other night I fed probably 15 or 20 snakes. I did short training sessions with them and I didn't think to check him. I checked several other snakes because I have a few royals that tend to do that. And yes, it can be frustrating. Do some of my other species of snakes do that? Like my Brettles pythons or my carpet pythons? No, they don't. It's always these guys. These guys are super cute. They're super beautiful. I think he's amazingly beautiful, but they can be frustrating about their eating habits. All right, so enough about that, and let me get to this week's video. This week's video is very special, and it's a little bit different. It is a draft presentation for my undergraduate capstone project. So I had to write basically an undergraduate thesis paper to graduate with my bachelor's degree and I have four days to turn that in and it has to be accompanied by a video presentation that is an overview of the paper. And what's challenging for me is the overview of the paper needs to be short. So this video that you're about to see is my draft which had to be turned in tonight and it's open for peer review. And then I take suggestions and recommendations and I have to revise it by Sunday night, which is four days from now, into a five minute presentation. And you guys know how much I like to talk, so that will not be easy. The presentation you're gonna see is six minutes long. I have to cut a whole minute off of it. And it's basically about my Savu Python conservation project, which has been ongoing all year. I started out this project in my conservation genetics course and my animal genetics course. I carried it through one of my environmental courses and it's basically something I've been working on for the last year in various coursework here at Unity Environmental University. And it's culminating in this review article of Savu Python conservation and their status in the wild, they are endangered, and then potential action items to implement a conservation program for them. And hopefully when I start my master's program in January, I can carry this research through and use it for my graduate thesis. Now my master's program is gonna be animal welfare and behavior. And so I will be taking the genetics project that involves Savu pythons and the conservation project that involves Savu pythons and implementing a behavior and welfare component to it for hopefully a graduate thesis that will, you know, culminate all this work into one product in two or three years. And once all this is done, you know, this term ends on Sunday and I'll be finished with my bachelor's in animal health and behavior, and then I'll hopefully uh, be moving on to my master's program in animal behavior and welfare. And this is on top of the zookeeping degree that I already have and the certificate in applied animal behavior that I already have. So this is the direction I'm going with the animals and in particular with the snakes. I'm excited about it. I hope you all remain excited about it. Thank you so much for learning and for being interested in snake behavior and training and welfare and conservation. 
And until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Even when they don't eat their meal and they leave it behind to rot and for you to find later. Hello, today is Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. I'm Lori with Unity Environmental University. Welcome to my brief capstone presentation on my paper, Evaluation of Species Conservation Strategies and Their Applicability for Preservation of the Endangered Savu Python, Liasis savuensis. This capstone project is the final step for me to earn my bachelor's degree in animal health and behavior before moving on to a master's program. My research question is, how can lessons learned from the conservation efforts and strategies applied to other island snake species and species in similar geographically isolated situations be adapted and utilized to inform and improve the conservation of the endangered Savu python in its unique island habitat on Savu Island, Indonesia? Savu pythons are non-venomous constrictor snakes. Their adult size is about four to five feet long and they are native only to Savu Island in Indonesia. The IUCN designated them as endangered in 2019 and their declining numbers are likely due to habitat loss and the illegal pet trade. Savus are listed under CITES Appendix 2, but no local conservation or habitat protection measures are in place on the island they are native to. This island experiences periods of extreme drought during certain times of the year, making resources scarce for humans and animals. And because of this, a conservation program strategy that involves the locals and getting local buy-in into the importance of the snakes is going to be imperative because these people are quite frankly worried about their own survival and not thinking about these snakes. My justification for this study is that snakes on islands are crucial for ecosystem health. They are part of the food web. They serve as pest control and as seed dispersal engineers. My methodology to conduct this research was a literature search of peer reviewed articles through November 2023, and then personal communication with Sabu Python keepers, breeders, and a geneticist. I was able to identify gaps in research and make recommendations for a project moving forward. My literature review was quite extensive and some key points from that include conservation insights from Daltrey's paper, Henderson's paper, and Bobak's paper. These provided specific information about other snake species, including those on islands and snake populations that were isolated. And that is the situation these Savu pythons are in. Public programs were highlighted in several of the papers, specifically the Daltrey paper talked about an Antiguan racer project and how they raised public awareness through education, community involvement, including media coverage, and how they made policymakers aware of the plight of these snakes. That's going to be important for our Savu Python conservation project. There were lots of lessons about genetics and how to prevent inbreeding depression from Klamovis paper. And genetic diversity in geographically constrained populations is very important. It's going to require continued genetic monitoring and collaboration with geneticists and conservation biologists so that any captive breeding program is successful and maintains a healthy level of heterozygosity. So genetic management was a big part of what I learned in this research. We need to establish genetic monitoring to track genetic diversity and prevent inbreeding. And then we also need to make sure that we are restoring any disturbed areas on Savu Island and reducing any further fragmentation, preserving the wild areas that are already left, and then creating some safe spaces on the island for the Savus. We need to educate the community on Savu Python conservation, how to assist the, with data collection, and to create outreach programs, just emphasizing the importance of the human-snake relationship and how there are mutual benefits there. Captive snake welfare cannot be forgotten. The health and well-being of Savu pythons under captive management for conservation breeding has to include veterinary care, ideal nutrition, enrichment, provision of agency for these animals whose freedom is being taken away, and opportunities to perform innate behaviors. In conclusion, a proactive, adaptable approach drawing from similar efforts should guide the shaping 
of a sustainable and effective Savu Python conservation program moving forward. My recommendations include to implement a stud book and track genetic diversity in any breeding populations, both wild and captive, to collaborate with institutions, private keepers, and conservationists, to leverage any Savu pythons that are already in captivity and use them for public education, awareness, and conservation programs so that we can facilitate engagement and kind of build a personal connection between people and these pythons. Education and outreach can certainly inspire action globally, but we really need to focus on the local community there on Savu Island because the humans there often struggle themselves and we need to give them legitimate reasons why they should care about helping these snakes. This is a list of my full references that I used to produce the paper. I'm happy to provide a copy of my paper. It is 25 pages long and I have an additional paper specifically on a proposed conservation breeding plan that's 27 pages long. So if you're really into snakes or really into Savu pythons or think you might be interested in helping me get this program started, then I'm certainly happy to provide those documents to you. And until then, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.